Okay, everyone. So I'm going to discuss one more question today, and that is from March 2023 attempt. That was question number two, part A. And the statement of question is showing on the screen. You can just see it and read it thoroughly. Explain the functions of price in resource allocation and consider the importance of these functions in relation to the potential effectiveness of a market economy. So again, you have to uh, come to the assessment objective one, two, and three. Again, assessment objective one is you have to define the basic terms given in the statement of question and uh, examples if you have any. And then you have to analyze the given situation and then at the end you have to give your final judgment. Uh, final judgment in question, eight mark question is for two marks, like conclusion ca carries two marks and assessment objective carries three marks that is knowledge and understanding assessment objective two carries like again three marks uh, so this is how uh, marks are divided in eight mark question so now moving to uh, the uh, answering technique of this question so first of all you have to pick the main terms and define them what they are so market economy is the key term uh, that is uh, given in this statement of question. So market economy is an economic system in which resources are allocated by the private individuals and companies for their profit motive. They decide what to produce, how to produce and for whom to produce. And then coming to uh, the role of price or functions of price, uh, there are basically price, price is an important thing in free market economy that determines like what, how and for whom to produce. And in price mechanism or in free market economy, price plays a vital role and its main functions are basically, uh, there are three functions of uh, price in market economy or in price mechanism. And those include like rationing, those include like allocative mechanism and those include like incentivism. So these are three main uh, like roles that price plays in price mechanism. Uh, through Keep in mind through uh, free forces of demand and supply or price mechanism or in private economy or market economy, resources are allocated at a point where demand and supply curves meet each other. So this is demand and this is supply. So supply goes positively sloped, demand goes negatively sloped. So when they intersect each other, this will be the point where resources will be allocated. So you can see this graph on the screen right now. So as per this graph, initially equilibrium is at point E where demand D and supply S intersect each other. We show price on Y axis, we show quantity on X axis. So price is set at P and quantity is set at Q. So this is how price mechanism basically decides what should be the price in the market and what quantity will be sold to the consumers. Now coming to the rationing function of price, rationing uh, is, is very important term. You must know that rationing is like limiting someone uh, when you uh, decide who will consume the product, like generally price determines who will produce, uh, who will consume the product. So definitely if prices are high, less consumers will purchase the product and when prices are low, more consumers will be able to purchase the product. Uh, for example, uh, if we extend the same graph and we add one more line to this graph that, is, that shows increase in demand for the product. Uh, it is natural when demand for a product increases, demand curve shifts to the right. This is the basic concept of economics we already know. So you can see this graph uh, that is showing on the screen right now. So uh, I'm basically adding some additional information to the existing graph. You need not to make so many graphs. So I'm showing it step by step so that you can reach the final graph that you will make in this question. Uh, even if you don't make any graph, you can still get full marks uh, because statement of question doesn't mention that you have to make the graph as well. So when question doesn't clearly say that make the graph, then you can still get full marks without making the graph. But uh, in economics, graph sense plays a vital role. So if you make that graph, that will definitely uh, will be helpful to get full marks easily. 
So uh, watch this uh, diagram on showing on the screen. So as per this graph, demand is initially D, supply is S, equilibrium is taking place at E where price is P and quantity traded is Q. If there is increase in demand for a product, then demand will shift to the right from D to D1 and as a result, if we keep the price same, that is P, then we can see a shortage in the market from point E to B or from Q, T, Q to Q, D, right? This is basically the shortage, shortage, shortage is taking place. So, shortage is when demand is more than uh, supply. So, this will signal the producers like this is again signaling another like uh, function of price can be signaling uh, the consumer uh, the producers what should be produced and uh, definitely at this time uh, some consumers will also be rationed as well so you can see that uh, ultimately it will send signal to the producer that the product is in high demand so they can earn high profit if they charge high pr price and they produce more uh, goods and services and supply increase their supply so as a result the movement in the graph will be from point e to e1 along the same supply curve showing that shortage has sent the signal to the producer that product is in high demand and it, it, it can capture high price in the market, it can fetch high price in the market. So as a result, they will extend their quantity supply from point E to E1. However, on the other hand, it will sell, uh, send signal to the consumers that product is getting expensive. So they will decrease their quantity demand and movement will be from point B to E1 along the same agri uh, same demand curve that is D1. So high price rations the scarce goods like some of the consumers will not be able to afford that product so quantity demand will decrease. On the other hand it is uh, giving signal to the producer to produce greater quantity of that product since it is in high demand. Okay, so this is uh, another like function of the price, one was rationing, other was signaling um, or you can also call it allocative mechanism. So resources, more resources are allocated to that product uh, that is in the shortage. So it sends signals to the producer so that they produce it in greater quantity. And the last function and the third function is uh, like incentivism. If uh, you give only two, uh, two basically functions of price, then you can get full marks, right? But still, uh, you, you have the option to give the third as well, right? But if you give only two uh, functions of price, then you can get full marks. Uh, the last is incentivism. Incentivism is uh, that when uh, prices are low, it is incentive for the consumers to allocate more resources to get that product at lower prices and if prices are low, it sends signal to the producers to produce less and supply less in the market to avoid losses. On the other hand, if prices are high, it sends signal to the producer to produce greater quantity of that product and it sends signal to the consumers to buy lesser quantity of goods. So this is how prices play their vital role and they manipulate the minds of the consumers. And uh, so when, whenever there are discounts on shopping centers, uh, you can find that many people purchase goods uh, at that time because it is giving signal to the consumer that buying now is beneficial for them. So they uh, they have the incentive to purchase the product immediately. On the other hand, when uh, prices, are, prices are high, it sends signal to the producers to allocate more resources to produce that product. So rationing mechanism is when you filter out some consumers who are not able to afford the product, you don't offer goods to them. So you move, uh, move back to the equilibrium position. Uh, that is at higher price and that shows lower quantity for the product, quantity demand for the product. 
and this is how uh, you can extend your uh, explanation for this question analysis uh, for this question and then at the end you have to give evaluation final evaluation uh, for this state for the statement of this question and for final evaluation uh, you have to write that in conclusion you can say that in conclusion uh, price plays a crucial role in price mechanism or in free market price mechanism is another name of free market economy so you can uh, use price mechanism or you can use market economy uh, okay so you can write in conclusion price plays a crucial or vital role in the price mechanism uh, which is the process by which the market determines the price of prices of goods and services based on the demand and supply just like given a graph banana the first graph basically shows the demand and supply intersection point of demand and supply where we can see what prices are set so prices are set through the demand forces of demand and supply uh, and definitely uh, price mechanism is a powerful tool for rationing and allocating scarce resources in market economy and it helps to ensure that resources are used efficiently based on the changes in demand and supply as you you have seen that when demand increased and shifted to the right so prices moved up and quantity demand moves down and quantity supply increase so you can say that in market economy or in price mechanism price plays a vital role in decision making what to produce and what not to produce um, another important thing uh, I would like to mention here is that uh, allocative mechanism is the mechanism that decides what and how to produce, right? So producers produce those goods that can fetch high price. How to produce decides what methods of production can be used to effectively produce that and in how much quantity it should be produced that. Uh, and in rationing it is decided that who will be the ultimate consumer right we have basic decisions economic decisions what to produce how to produce and for whom to produce so in rationing mechanism uh, price decides who will be the ultimate consumer and in allocative mechanism uh, it will be decided that what to produce and how to produce so what to produce decides which product to produce uh, definitely producers produce that product which can fetch a very high price in the market and get higher profits for the business and those techniques or methods of production are used that can cut cost for the business and earn high profits and increase revenue as well and ensure better quality as well for example whenever capital or machinery and technology is cheaper uh, it again signals the producers to use more machinery technology and tools so that they produce higher output. On the other hand, if labor intensive techniques are more beneficial and cost effective and can cut cost and can increase output, then it sends signal to allocate resources to produce that good. So this is how you can also incorporate the basic economic decisions or basic economic questions of what to produce, how to produce and for whom to produce. Okay, so this is it. I believe this was helpful to you and in the next video, I, I'll pick another question from March 2023 attempt. So if you are again interested to learn about that, uh, possibly that can be from macroeconomics section C. This was section B question that is from microeconomics and in the next video, I, I'll pick one question from macroeconomics and I'll explain it to you. Thank you.